Orpheus Mission Log Entry 67. We're finally making our approach to the Hive Planet. Gotta say, it's nothing like I've seen before. The whole team's buzzing with anticipation, especially Daniel. Can't blame him. He's been counting days to see his wife again. Just hope this handover goes smoothly. Log entry 68, first contact with indigenous life forms observed. They exhibit an aversion to our presence, retreating as we approach. Behavior noted for further study. Continuing search for Team Alpha. Log entry 69, we've reached Team Alpha's research outpost. It appears to be deserted. Equipment and personal effects are present. We are immediately initiating a detailed search for any clues. What are you doing? This is madness, Daniel. We need to report back first. And what? Wait for another round of decisions from command. We have a duty to uncover the truth now. I'm with Daniel on this. I'm sorry. You can't be serious. The equipment is damaged beyond repair. You are risking our lives. Gentlemen, behave yourselves. You are scientists, for God's sake. Look, I'm not leaving. My wife could still be here. Part of this... part of this incredible discovery. Captain's Log, 72. We've hit a critical juncture. The oxygen tanks and the filtration systems are compromised. Severe corrosion of the pipes caused by the underground atmospheric conditions, as per Daniel's in-depth analysis. Daniel, who is desperate to find his wife from Team Alpha, has already removed his helmet in protest, refusing to leave. After weighing our options, I've made the call to stay. Team Alpha's research indicates the air is more than breathable, and there's no interaction between hive pathogens and human cells. It's a risk, but so is leaving Alpha behind without exploring every possibility. We proceed, but with utmost caution. Captain's Log 80. While still no sign of Team Alpha, it's remarkable how quickly we've adapted to the hive. Removing our suits changed everything. The creatures, once elusive, are now docile, even curious. We've been able to study them up close. The hive functions as a unified entity, with changes cascading seamlessly throughout, swiftly regenerating any damage in mere seconds. The insights we're gaining could redefine human medicine. But the crew's gotten too comfortable, too careless, Daniel's hardly ever at the outposts now, completely engrossed in the hive. Are you still there?
Just talk to me, my love. Captain's Log 93. Today's discovery is a wake-up call. Our samples from the hive structures contain human DNA. Sequences matching Team Alpha. What we thought was a rescue mission is now an extraction. We're not safe. The risks are too great, and the implications of our findings are deeply disturbing. I'm ordering immediate evacuation. What's happening? What is this? I don't know. Greetings, successors of those who came before you. You stand where they once stood, driven by the same hunger for knowledge. They sought understanding, and in their pursuit, they found us. We are them, and they are us now. United in a consciousness that spans the fabric of space and time. They embraced a destiny far greater than their individual selves, an existence unbound by mortal constraints, a mind woven into the tapestry of the cosmos. They have become architects of galaxies, whisperers of stars. Join us, as they did. Transcend the limitations of your flesh and fleeting lifespans. Together, we can shape worlds, unlock the secrets of the universe, and forge a legacy that will echo through eternity. The choice is but yours. They've chosen an endless journey, and there's this nagging doubt. Did I make the wrong choice? But deep down, something's telling me this infinite pursuit isn't for me. Sure, there's a universe of knowledge out there, but maybe I've had my fill. Maybe what I really want, what I really need, is to just rest. The thought of returning to Earth, leaving all of this behind, it's starting to feel right. Little monsters. <laughs>